What's good, YouTube? My name is Coach, and in today's video, we're going to be playtesting a Feather the Redeemed commander deck that I had built a while back. This is a response for one of the subscribers that I was able to meet, that I was lucky enough to meet while I was in Philadelphia at Command Fest, and we were having a conversation about this Feather deck, so I'm going to make this playtest video of this Feather deck so everyone and the individual has the opportunity to see how this deck plays. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep in mind that if you're new to the channel, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the YouTube channel. This is a growing community. We started the channel about six months ago. We're at about a thousand subscribers now. We also do have a Discord as well, and you're more than welcome to join the Discord and help to just hang out and build commander decks with other people. Kiln Fiend. Clever Luminancer, Plains, Mountain, Expedite, Sheltering Light, and a Mountain. We're going to go ahead, we're going to keep this hand, and we're just going to draw. And we'll draw into a Soul's Fire, which is a removal spell. What we're going to do is pay one, and then we're going to get down this Clever Luminancer. And then we're just going to go ahead and pass the turn after that. So draw for turn, we draw into Bergy, the god of storytelling. So I think uh, we're going to play around this Bergy that we just drew into. We'll get down the mountain. I could play the Kiln Fiend right now to get a ton of uh, power on the board quickly. I think we're just going to do that. I'll pay two. We'll get down the Kiln Fiend. And if you, as you can see, this deck is meant to be played uh, with creatures that have low uh, converted mana costs that pump themselves up whenever we cast spells. So essentially this represents four power and this will represent uh, two power on turn three. So that's a total of six damage. It's not, not too bad. Not the best thing, but not the worst. We'll pass the turn. We'll draw. Draw into a planes here. So I think technically right now we could cast Feather, but we're going to wait because uh, I could play my mountain the next turn after that and essentially have the ability to give Feather haste because we do have the Expedite over here in our hand as well. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to pay, get down the mountain. We'll pay three. We'll play, actually we're going to tap this way just so that we can hold up the sheltering light if we need to cast a, something to save our creatures. We'll get down Bergy. So now whenever we cast a spell until the end of turn, well, we add a red mana essentially to our main. We'll probably attack with the Kiln Fiend if, depending on what our opponent does. And then we'll pass the turn. We'll draw into a Valorous Stance, which is going to give a creature we control destructible, or we can uh, use it as removal. It was not a land, but well, hopefully when we draw a couple cards here, we draw to a land. Because uh, we're going to go ahead and pay three. We'll play Feather. We do cast a spell, so we get one red mana from Bergy. So essentially we have two red mana floating. I'm going to use the floating red mana to cast an Expedite. Which is going to give Feather haste. And it's also going to draw us a card. So we're going to draw into a moment of heroism. Which is going to give a creature plus two, plus two, and lifelink. And then... I really would have liked to land there. But I think because we cast this Expedite, that's going to give Kiln Fiend plus three, plus zero. So he's now a four, two. So now we go to combat. And we can deal two damage here. Four damage here, and then three flying damage. I'm going to pass the turn. And this goes back to my hand at the end of the turn. And then we'll say that on the my opponent's end step, we'll tap this and we'll cast Expedite again. And then we'll also draw a card again. We'll draw into a mountain, which is great. And then oh, we will take our turn. Untap. All right, we'll draw for turn into a teamer battle rage. We'll play our land. 
And now, technically, we can do a couple of things. Let's say that we need to remove something. So technically, we could do this. We'll cast a moment of heroism, which is going to buff this to three. This is going to be, this is a four, two. This is a, a two, three. This is going to give Feather plus two plus two. So Feather's a five, six, and has lifelink. We just also created a red mana, so we have a red mana floating. And now with the floating red mana, we will tap two and we will target Feather. And Feather is going to deal five damage to a creature, which should gain us five life because Feather has lifelink. The Kiln Fiend is going to get plus three plus zero again, so now Kill Fiend is seven power. This is now four power when we create another red mana floating. And now we have two mana essentially. I mean, in this situation, I can hold up this spell here or this mana to essentially give Feather indestructible. Or if I really wanted to go really aggressively, I could give Feather double strike. However, I think the safe play here is just going to be to hold up this mana. We'll cast the Expedite with the floating red mana that we used from before. Which is going to cause us to draw a card and we'll draw into a Plains. And now, because we cast that, we have another red mana. And if I look at my hand, yeah, I'd rather save that mana. So we're going to go to combat. This is um seven four and then five left link and then uh we'll go ahead and say that that's the game so essentially what this deck is attempting to do is to play very low to the ground you know these spells are relatively cheap to cast to use legendary creatures like uh, bergy to give us an advantage give us more mana to cast spells we draw into our land so we hit our land drops and we just get cheap creatures into play really early so that we can buff them as we're casting our spells so that when we have turn we get them back we can use them to continue to be aggressive with feather or with these creatures as well i just find that playing around these creatures and not so much playing around feather makes the deck be more resilient to people who are just targeting Feather out of the game. If Feather was gone, I would still technically have the Luminancer and Killed Fiend. And you can check the deck list in the description below and see the rest of the cards that act like these in the deck, okay? Hope you like this video. Hope you have an amazing day. Always remember, eat healthy, okay? Work out every single day. And most importantly, believe in yourself, right? Peace out, people.